Hello guys, this is Victoria Expert, Austin and Sam. Welcome back to another uh, Oblivion video, everyone. Welcome back, it's Oblivion. Uh, it is Monday. Uh, yes, I'm doing Oblivion again, because I was doing Oblivion last night. Uh, that sort of thing was happening last night. Bloody horses going upside down. Uh, it felt like yesterday. <laughs> it felt like yesterday, uh, because it was yesterday. Oh, I'm bloody stupid. But no, yeah, it was live stream Sunday yesterday. I decided to, you know, do a bit of Oblivion. I didn't decide to. I had to do Oblivion. It was on my timetable. I uh, also fixed my microphone so you wouldn't hear any more scrugging noises. I don't know why that's always a problem at the start. It's like something to say. It's like I can't start the intro without moaning. It's like, yeah, apparently my... Oh, here we go again. And my granddad's mum was like that. He was like, oh, yeah. Uh, my dad my dad used to visit and say, you right, Grandma? And she used to say, yeah, it's been all right. You know, say it in a way like... You know what I mean? Like, it's the end of the world, and then she would start about, oh, well, today, I couldn't get the shopping, and then, oh, and then it rained, and then, oh, it's like, don't start these videos, just calm down. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, it's been a very nice day today, actually. I've been up since 12, which is rare, uh, because I thought a certain diecast model was coming today. Uh, it wasn't, because, you know, normally, the weekend, you know, they don't deliver, so sometimes on Monday or Tuesday, you know, DPD or the Royal Mail just burst out delivery. Uh, and I've got an A350 that's been sat in, um, well, it dispatched on the 11th of April, right? So it's been sitting in the Royal Mail place for about 10 days, 10 days tomorrow, and tomorrow I go to a funeral, my granddad's funeral, and honestly, <laughs> I know you're probably thinking, oh, why are you doing this video before a bloody funeral, you idiot? It's tomorrow, but, you know, second of all, because, you know, I know this video will come out tomorrow morning, uh, and people will think, why are you doing a video before a funeral? No, I'm recording this on Monday night, and, yeah, so, that's pretty funny. What's that clicking noise in my throat? Oh, if it's not my microphone, it's my throat now, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I thought I literally had the uh, virus before. No, I did, because I felt dead sweaty and hot. And then I started feeling dead tired, and then I had some pasta. I've been watching a couple of my holiday videos today as well, you know, my Lanzarote videos. And um, my montage from 2016, Minorca. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, just to see, you know, how good times were and stuff like that. Does that boat move? I think it does slightly, yeah. <laughs> I just need to know, you know, I mean, just to kind of recalibrate just how good times used to be. And times will be good again, I have said. Apparently now on the news are saying, oh, there could be like a second wave. And like, oh, UK's um, numbers go down after first wave. I know! It's like the, they're looking forward to the next bit of a bad news. I don't believe it, and I'm not live streaming, so... <laughs> don't don't bother asking a question. That'll be in Q&A Wednesday that, uh, this week, and I have actually got some questions. Oh yeah, my bloody cat Benji's under the bed, because uh, he's absolutely traumatised. So I've got the cat to look after. I hope he doesn't bloody cark it. You know, my cat Benji. Oh, shh, yay. It's not well, but he, we found this um, this treatment that is one. Um, we have uh, this cat chemotherapy, and we were paying. We or we it was covered on the insurance. You know, my cat Benji isn't well. Five hundred pound for chemotherapy for a cat, and he wasn't right. You know, last Friday when he came back, my dad just said it's not fair. I have to put him down or find something else. So we found um, some, some something something like a a three week steroid. So he's had it today, and within three weeks he'll go back to the vets again. Uh, but he's, you know, it's only so much trauma you can put through a cat until they start hiding under the bed. So my cat Benji's absolutely traumatised. He's under the bed, and I, 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 I know my mum and dad are like, "Why is he under the bed? Why is he looking into the mirror? Why is he hiding under the car?" It's because he's bloody traumatised. And I figured it out, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I know. If anything, give me the cat." Yeah, the cat's got cancer, and. He might last long. He might, he might last last long. No, he might not last long. So, and I'm saying that, and the cat's under the bed. I don't know if a cat speaks English. Oh, I do. Oh, what is this bloody? Cat? Oh yeah, I'm a cat in the game. So, if anything, I'm offending my own kind. <laughs> I'm offending my own kind. Jesus. I hope the microphone's plugged in. I had all sorts of bloody problems with it yesterday. Not loud enough and all that. Look at him just in his feet. He's like his uncle. <laughs> He's like his uncle Dave. <laughs> He's like me, uncle Dave. <laughs> Why am I happy before a funeral? Yeah, it's my granddad's funeral tomorrow, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be. Well, I know he wouldn't want us to cry and you know be all moping around because that wasn't my granddad. I think you've all heard. He was quite the opposite. He was all, you know, to have a laugh and to have a cheer and you know, your nan's down, uh, down there cooking the potatoes. I look down, it's a bloody drain. Yeah, you know, sarcastic and uh, yeah. I think one of the things he said, my dad wrote it up in the um 
I still don't know the word for it. Not the obituary, the B. I oh, I don't ever read out. Yeah, it, it will all come to me tomorrow and I'll burst out crying. Oh, yeah, I've had my cry. I'd, it was more like a relief about three Wednesdays ago. Yeah, I, yeah, Wednesday this week. It'll be three, we three weeks. No, a week tomorrow will be three weeks since he died, my granddad. And yes, he died of a virus. And I have been not wanting any sympathy for it because I'm not about that. Don't send me cards, send them to me nan. Um, <laughs> do you know me nan? Well, yeah. Oh no, some big Wii game has been saying, I hope you do well and all that. And I've been like, you don't need to do that because I'm alright. You know, I'm not, on my, I'm not on my last legs like some of these YouTubers. You know, you see these bloody YouTubers and they're all very, you know, so delicate. Like a feather. You know. I actually saw a feather today. Um... You know, they say it's a sign of a spirit world. And I did actually send it to my granddad. Or I said to, you know, we used to go round. And we still do. Uh, I went to my nan nan's tonight. And we kind of sat in the living room. And yeah, so self-isolating. We're doing that. But she's been in quarantine for about three weeks. And so have we. And I don't know why I thought I had the virus. I know, I was, about an hour ago, I was pooing myself. I thought I had the virus, literally. I asked my dad to take my temperature about three times. And in the end, he was just... Mad. <laughs> He's mad. And he started taking his own. He was like, bloody hell, I've got the same as Sammy. And then, uh, oh, fine, they've done my dad's accent and not a scout's voice. And, yeah, my mum took it and she was like, yeah, my temperature today is 36.6. And he said 46.6. Bloody doctors will be <laughs> wheeling me out tomorrow. Like, I need to go to the funeral. And also, um, uh, something well, I probably shouldn't say on YouTube. Yeah, tomorrow we're wearing um, not black ties. You know, a funeral where you wear black ties and dark clothing. Yeah. You know, because my granddad was the man he was. No, we're not wearing black ties. We're wearing, um, I'm wearing a blue tie. And I said to my dad, why am I wearing a blue tie? And he said, because, and he just explained, yeah. And then literally a couple of weeks ago, you know, when I used to, you know, you know we used to sit down and stuff. You know, he, well, a couple of weeks ago, uh, what, what was, I was moving a flag for him, you know, like a paving stone. I was moving a paving stone and he said, can you carry it, Sam? And I was like... Yeah, and I just carried it, and he's like, of course you can, you're a young man. I, c I could carry that on my head when I was your age, when I was younger. <laughs> like a bloody paving stone, like one of these, yeah. And he's very funny, and yeah. It's just sad, isn't it? Um, and yeah, I know he didn't want people to be moping around, so tomorrow he wasn't, you know, he wasn't all about that, like, moping around. And, but my dad said, you know, if you... He was kind of speaking to my sister before, like, this is what a funeral is. This is what will happen. There'll be some sad music. That'll probably make you cry, Anna. And my sister's going. And I think that's good, because she was like, I like granddad. Yeah, because she was a, his, little, his little granddaughter, and I was his mate. Literally, I, I was his mate. Yeah, I told you. Hey, welcome to Oblivion again. Oh, yeah, I'm taking down a uh, portal. Yeah. Another portal. We're doing another portal on the new toy cat, gone ginger. and gone a little bit older. And travelled around the world a bit. I I watched one of his Australian videos the other day. One of his Australian videos! Oh, when he, he went to Australia, he was comparing Qantas compared to Virgin Australia. And his videos are alright, but towards he's Oh, my battery died, so I couldn't record that flight. And then in the end, he was using bloody green screen. And he had his face all over the window of a plane. If I did that, I'd get bloody shot at, you know what I mean? Like, B Disney, <laughs> it's a Disney, fan, Disney fans will burn your house down. Yeah, that'll happen with me. Yeah, we came in there with <laughs> the BMW on fire. Bloody, yeah, bloody explosives, bloody mine lands, la landmines, sorry, under the door. Didn't make a funny joke about um, a landlord. And just put a landmine under a landlord, landlord's property and then it'll boom up or something, oh, I don't know. Some dreadful joke. No more jokes for the funeral. Oh yeah, I was using my nan's walking stick today to get some dirt out of this hole, because I, I was about to mow her lawn, but she kind of said, I think Gar would have liked his lawn to, you know, flourish, pl flourish, flourish, flourish for his funeral. And yeah, he said it, it's, it's him popping his head up to see if he's, <laughs> and there's he's stupid. Yeah, I was pretending the, um, the walking stick at me nan's today, uh, like was a, um, yeah, like a, like a, like a third leg, and I was saying, nah, I'm Jake, Jake, Jake the peg, and I've got three legs. Yeah, do 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 do. Stupid bloody song. Yeah, look up Jake the peg, everyone. I mean, he ended up being a pedo, but so am I. <laughs> so am I. Oh, I'm gonna get brought up on that. Said enough bloody naughty things in the last video. 
I just start going on about, oh, the NHS, oh, did I? I don't know. There's an NHS worker in the co-op today, my dad said thank you to her, and I was like, really? She's probably, she's probably part of a bloody child care unit, you know what I mean? It's probably got nothing to do with her. And now the NHS are moaning about, oh, you know this man who's walked the length of his bloody, um, his, his bloody garden to raise something, something, thousand pounds for the NHS? Or probably bloody more. Apparently the NHS are turning around now, saying, oh, it won't create enough masks and stuff. And everybody lucky for getting other support, they... Just, just take the money and just shut up. Yeah, I'm, I'm Richard Branson is going crazy <laughs> over his island and selling his island as security. And yeah, he's trying to save Virgin Atlantic. I think they'll survive. I mean, if Virgin Atlantic go, British Airways are not far behind. If you know what I mean. And I know. I, I like British. I like both. But one I'd rather fly with. Well, at a moment, I'd rather fly maybe with Virgin Atlantic, um, because they look not like Thomas Cook or. Flyby, but you know Richard Branson's been in business for 50 years, and I don't think so. Oh, Thomas Cook was in business for he wasn't around for he was 50 years. He carked it by bloody thingy. I hope the cat doesn't die under the bed. No, the cat's trying to. You know, it's all very sad at the moment, but you know what I mean. I'm, you know, I, I was. I, I, I'm like a Gemini jet model. I was molded in plastic. No, I was, I was molded in bloody iron. I know how to take some grief every now and again. I do. I do. If anything, this is life experience, so... Yeah, I'm taking all this grief from getting out of moment, like losing my granddad. I know, it's all, like, part of a life, and I feel like... It, yeah, obviously we will... I know the BBC and all them are saying, Oh, it's the worst thing ever, and... Wave one, wave one of... I know, what is this bloody Terraria... Uh, moon boss fight? Wave one of the coronavirus. Uh, when's wave two? When the clock strikes ten o'clock? You know what I mean? It's ridiculous, and... The news is trying to make out like, oh, it's the worst thing ever. Everyone's bloody mother's an expert. I'm a terrarium expert. Come on, guys, let's have some fun in these hard times. Yeah, I'm waiting for my Gemini jet model, so. Uh, yeah, I was pacing up and down the garden today trying to wait. Oh, there was a DPD van, and it reversed, but it reversed to go out of the lane. I was like, yeah, 380. And then the Royal Mail turned up in a white van, so it wasn't even liverized. And, and the guy was looking around for the house. And I was about to say, are you looking for number, number, number one? Number one, are you? Number two? Oh, well, that's me. <laughs> I've got two houses. No, um, and yeah, I don't know. He just said, no, it's number six. I know, so I was deliberately pleading to see if it was my, my uh, A350. One's coming on the 27th. And then one, uh, it won't come on the 27th, because the 27th is Sunday. So it will either come on Saturday, or maybe the 5th, which is Friday, right? And... The easy way to remember this week is the 20th of today is Monday, so 23rd will be Wednesday. Alright, I should have told you that about 50 months ago. <laughs> Alright, okay, we're going to take down this place now. Is it me or does hell look all the same? I've just had some pasta and I feel a little bit better. I know I, I had a bit of a temperature before. I didn't have a temperature, but uh, my dad said you're a hypochondriac and I should bloody shut up about having the virus because I don't. Well, that's good game design, isn't it? Look, Todd Howard knows about that. Look at that. Look at me, I'm such a snob. Go away! I've got a katana here, and you, you're not going to take me Anna. <laughs> you're not going to take me Anna. Oh, yeah, so my little sister's at. My little sister. She's 12. Um, yeah, my sister's Xbox today. Oh, do we get harder and harder? Oh, yeah, over, like, my mum's nails. <laughs> my mum's at the girl at the airport's nails. These are tails. She inhales. Not a great joke at the moment. Yeah, um, I don't know why I'm in such a good mood. Well, because I am. Who can stop me? I bet someone's going to say, why are you in such a good mood? Yeah, someone's bloody mother. <laughs> someone's bloody mother. I like Wii gaming, but your dad. <laughs> I like squid and gaming, but your mom. <laughs> I like dragon plating, but your nan. <laughs> yeah. Could say the same about me. I like the Sarah Expo, but his granddad. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Yeah, I'm going to. Is it Landakin? I don't know. I'm going to a funeral. Yeah, I've said where it is, but it's not where it is. <laughs> Just so no one, none of you bloody idiots turn up. <laughs> With your nan, your dad, and your granddad. Oh, God. It's funny that, because apparently my granddad said the uh, the place he's yeah getting cremated is quite nice. Um, and it's weird that now he's going there. Uh, I was making a bit of a joke before, like, oh, yeah. 
I'm gonna stick me Chicago Town pizza into the, <laughs> the cremation with him. <laughs> I feel a bit peckish, but no, my nan's got sandwiches, so it'll be all right. See, that's what my granddad would have wanted, funny jokes about funerals. And he found it funny, you know, we used to laugh about, oh yeah, if you if you have a, you can have plastic coffins. Hey, that's off Tomb Raider. Or more like, ah, uh, Tomb Raider copied. Um, I never play Tomb Raider. Uh, yeah, um, don't want to. Hello, can I swing the bodies? And they're like solid. But do you like turn? Oh, hello. It's Mr. Monkey. Yeah, um, yeah. Cardboard coffins at funerals. And I said, yeah, have you had a cardboard coffin? He said, yeah, they're environmentally friendly. Not when you fall out. <laughs> and it's raining. And then me and my granddad were going on about glass coffins. He said, the thing is, Sam, if you have a... He, he used to be all serious, and you'd think, oh, I better listen here. And he'd say, uh, the thing is, Sam, if you have a glass coffin, you might need a window cleaner. <laughs> and we were saying stuff like, oh, yeah, you know those people get buried underground, and they have a little bell. Yeah, well, if you get buried underground, you should give you a phone. A phone. And if you run out of, um, pay-as-you-go, you really are buggered. <laughs> <laughs> and he found that so funny. <laughs> and that's what he was about. That's why we're not wearing black ties tomorrow. I know, what's such a bloody thing about black ties? <laughs> the world will never be the same after the virus. No, stuff that. The world will never be the same after the black tie rant. After the black tie rant. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> lethal. Need any energy. Oh, what? You what, son? Yeah, I'm taking down these bloody fortresses. I don't want to, but something to do, isn't it? Apart from a bloody thieves guild. Oh, the cat's alright. The cat's hiding from, cause, from us because... Yeah, he's been to the vets about three times this week and... He's he's not on his last legs, but he's wasting away in front of us. Our cat, Benji. And yeah, not, not great. But we have found some medicine that will keep him going maybe until June or July, but... Yeah, the cat's not well. So one of the neighbours actually said, do you want Seth? And that was his little mate in 2014, Sethwin. So, maybe we could have Seth, but, I don't know. Seth was a bit, uh, playful. And he still acted like a kitten in 2018. And he was a cat from 2014. I reckon he was born around when I was doing, you know, starting YouTube, so he's... ...pretty important, isn't he? <laughs> like GTCCA. Oh, you're not gonna live in me? Live in me? <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, I'm in a good mood tonight. Uh, no, I'm not really. But I'm trying to liven the mood because I know where uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think I've done a little poo in me pants. <laughs> I've got my window open as well because it's quite hot. Oh hello, sorry, I'm in this place, aren't I? They're naughty. You can't. What's that? Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Whatever. I've got no drink tonight. I've oh my my fingers hurting. I don't know why. I've been bitten. I've got my window open, so it is possible I've just been bitten by a mosquito. He's been bitten in his own video. Oh. Look at this. Third person in this game is alright. I mean, it's not as good as Skyrim. You can't zoom out or anything, but... You could zoom out on the Xbox One version. The special edition. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I'm using a katana at the moment. We're doing the same, mate. Doing the same tricks as you. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm waiting for an A380 at the moment. <laughs> don't know where I'm going to park it. Near where the cat carks it. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. Park it and cark it. It's another joke my granddad would find funny. Probably rain tomorrow for all the jokes being told. More like for all the... Yeah, my dad just said if you feel emotional, don't... Don't try and act strong. It's a... It's a time f to be... Kind of like unraveled a funeral people go to be upset or to celebrate a life. Or is that a... Is that a, um... A thingy? A, um... A wake. An awake. Why is it called an aw awake? Wake. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh yeah, once, um... In a pub that's been knocked down in my area called the yeah, Optel, and there was a guy who died, and his name was Tony, and it said, Tony's wake. And, um, and dad said, it's Tony. Tony, and there's a guy who lived here we used to make jokes about, you know, and he's died as well. <laughs> Everyone's died. Yeah, Tony Rusciio. And I think he moved to Rome. Rome. Which is in Italy, so maybe he died of a virus, but... Yeah, he died earlier this year. 
And it was to oh my god, it was Tony's wake. And I thought it was Tony here, and we say Tony was here, and I shouted out in this place that was awake. Uh, to it's Tony's funeral, it's Tony, Tony Rusheo. And I looked at the sign, it did actually say Tony, I thought my dad was on me on, I was like, shit, and I've just said all that really loud. <laughs> no wonder people were looking at me. <laughs> they really thought, oh, is he the drinks man, is he the drinks service man? <laughs> to it's Tony's right. There was two wakes going on apparently that day. It was Tony and someone else called. Tony and Mon Tony Monsana. <laughs> oh my god, there's two lads. It's like me mate Luke, this thing. The little imps. Not quite as good as the imps in Doom. They're more like furry, aren't they? They're like something you could stroke. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're like Tony. Mm -hmm. Tony the imp. Come on. Where's the, where's the other one gone? I hate double combat in this game. It's like attacking with a balloon. Yeah, I think, I think somebody's already used that one. Clay mount sword, I've got that. Right, you're gonna bloody go away now. I've got something on this sword that's. I think it's frost or something. Come on. Oh, look at that. Oh. I could only take these down at the start of the game, but now I'm doing a little bit better. Oh, look at it, it's long range. It's an XLR. Yeah. It's a A350 XLR. Is there any? No, it's an XWB. Extra wide body. Which is the A350 900. Is it really a little bit wider than the A350 100? 1000. Bloody hell, do I not know my planes? <laughs> All of a sudden at night. Oh, it's the brain tumour, isn't it, guys? Remember. I have stomach cancer. <laughs> I have a virus now. I have a brain tumour and I've got anal cancer. <laughs> I know, everything to sell yourself to a girl too, hey. Hey, beautiful, and she's like, oh, hello, you. That girl at the airport. I was like, hey, uh, I've got a couple of problems, though. <laughs> yeah, and you might need a list. <laughs> well, like, you might need a bloody coffin. <laughs> and, yeah, stop coughing. Um, well, first of all, we've got this virus, and then she steps away loads. And then, um, I'm like... I've got a brain cancer, <laughs> I've got a brain cancer, got stomach cancer, got anal cancer, uh, and, uh, uh, that's it, and she's just like, Mario! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know when people just come out of their shell at hard times like this, like, oh, he's joking about this, and he's joking about that. I know, if, any, if there's any time to hate people and people come out as selfish, it would be at a moment, wouldn't it? My mum nearly had an argument with some woman at Tesco the other day. She only bitch slapped her apparently. She wasn't keeping her distance and she was splattering everywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> so not good. A steel dagger! I want it. Oh no, I remember Cumbered it. Yeah, so. I'll keep looking at chat and there's bloody no chat. Sorry. Yeah, I've had a bit of pasta. I wasn't really feeling. A big meal tonight. And I know Mackie's. When Mackie's open, it'll feel like the best thing ever. <laughs> Silver long sword. I don't want it. Stop it, boys. Oh, look at it! Oh, it's quite... It's quite posh, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite posh. <laughs> oh, who do I think I am? <laughs> it's quite posh. <laughs> look at this, guys. I'm going to do a... Uh, uh, critical... I didn't do a critical. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both using the same tactics there. Oh, look at this fighting skills. What normal people do. Oh, I'm going to batter you, you little monkey, you, me mate Luke. Come on, mate Luke. May Luke. May Luke be with you. <laughs> mate Luke. Oh! <laughs> God, it's fast. It's a fast little way. Look at that! Wish, 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 wish. <laughs> Well, you can wash your hands with it. Wash your hands with it! <laughs> you bloody severed? <laughs> Sever your wrists with a butcher's knife. A <laughs> butcher's knife! <laughs> yeah. But no way, yeah. Mm. But no way, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no. Apparently all these celebrities are moaning about, um, you know, like self-isolation. Like, we've got like a pool in the mansion. They're like, I can't go out. I'm not on TV tonight. And they're... Yeah. I suppose I've said a bit about uh, the NHS and I mean yeah I support I think what the NHS and I wouldn't just say the NHS 
I think Google have gotten a little bit confused. Because the NHS aren't the middle of the world, right? Not every healthcare system is called the NHS, just healthcare. To all healthcare and care workers out there, thank you. Not the NHS. Because the NHS are just based in England. Alright, how big is England compared to America? Why is the NHS so important? Yes, in this country, but in Russia, besides the NHS, you know, it would be like a little pin needle. You nothing, so. I don't think all this about save the NHS and all that. I mean, at a moment, they turn a the blind eye to everything. Oh, yeah, these face masks from the government. Yeah, they're not getting them. I think that's disgraceful. But all these people sending stuff to them. Airbus have used a ventilator. And now they're saying, oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, it did, the ventilators don't work. I know, shouldn't a company like the NHS... I know times are hard right now, and I'll probably get accused for this. Um, But a, a company, an organisation like the NHS... Okay, how much money is... As, you know, as it being fed. Like, shouldn't they have a, enough money to mass produce their own equipment? Like, masks, ventilators. Why are they asking, why are they bothering and hassling Airbus over it? Airbus make wings, aircrafts. Why? Why? Why do the NHS have to, why well, can't they make their own stuff? Aren't they capable of making face masks, 3D printing, or. Is this a dose of how far behind they are with the technology? You never know. You know, and Boeing are 3D printing masks at a moment, and... I know, they're getting loads of masks, and someone's like, Oh, we don't have enough, we don't have enough. Well, you're lucky you're getting them, so use them to your advantage. Share one with your colleague worker. They're stretchy, I've used them on Halloween to dress up as a surgeon. Masks are perfect. <laughs> yeah, you've had to do it to look down Matthew Wilcox's gob once, and... Had to share it. Okay, sharing them. Sh so, cut a mask in half. So you have twice more. Oh, that's stupid. Don't listen to me, but. I, I, you know, I would have thought like a company like the NHS. I'm not saying they should, but I would have thought a company like the NHS, with all the money they have, would be able to mass produce their own equipment. And make. I mean. Alright, I get it if he can't make a ventilator. And maybe that's why they're. You know going to Airbus and saying, do you have technologies that make ventilators? And Airbus are like, look at the A350, what do you think, idiots? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's the reply, and Airbus have probably made something that's revolutionary, as they always do, and the NHS have... Yeah, it's like a little, you know, like a little spoiled brat that who doesn't like anything on, on, like, Christmas dinner, like, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that, I want that, I... It's like the NHS, pretend that's you. I, I accept for doing... A lot good to the world right now, or more like just England. Um, but come on, please. And I was saying, oh, you know, doctors and nurses, they uh, and dentists, you know, they take a lot for granted, and they, you know, because they're a doctor, doesn't mean they're the best person ever. I mean, I'm biased towards biology anyway. I'm bi, I'm biased to biology. I'm biology. No, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, my views towards biology and all that goes. But. Uh, but, um, I don't know, like, yeah, um, uh, oh shit, I forgot what I was going to say, um, yeah, I don't know, like, I'm, uh, this is just my, what I've experienced, but a lot of the doctors are full of themselves, like, yes, yeah, so we might be doing a good cause, and, you know, saving people, people's lives every day, but my mum has a friend, and she's a, oh, you're an NHS staff, part of the NHS staff and she takes <laughs> she's way too I was just had me tea and belching everywhere. Um yeah, I don't know. The NHS saw this would be cross eyed, wouldn't they? Like well, what's going on? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> from 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 the maker of the video. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on in my own video. <laughs> oh god. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know the I feel like yeah, but you know like private health you know, they're snobby in the think they're the best and yeah. they might be you know saving people's lives every day I mean that's a one hell of a responsibility have and one hell of a thing to be proud of but taking it into granted and like oh I'm an NHS well, I work for you I save people's lives every day and you know and she use yeah well, that's just one person within probably a, a company that has about 500,000 staff you know what I mean <laughs> so 
Yeah. If anything, don't don't take me for granted. <laughs> but now, um, I would have thought they would be able to make their own masks, and I just don't want to get criticised for this because everyone's saying, "Oh, the NHS is just you're doing such a great job." And yes, I recognise that. I I stand completely with them, but I would have thought, um, and this is it. I would have thought. I don't know if he do. I don't know if he will. But I would have thought. A company like the NHS would. Like, I don't know who's watching these bloody videos. But, it's obviously you guys. I don't know why I'm trying to be so protective over myself and scared for what I say. Because in about three months' time, people will probably watch this. <laughs> yeah, I'll just delay it until three months so everything I've said in this video will be acceptable. People will just be like, oh, yeah. Remember the coronavirus? Yeah, it was pretty bad, that, wasn't it? Three months ago. God, thank God. <laughs> yeah, guys. How is Wave 8 going? <laughs> Does BBC think um, this is some sort of bloody sandstorm boss from Terraria? Wave 9 of COVID-19. You know what I mean? Just the human race rapidly deteriorating. Yeah. What are we going to say next? Self-isolation doesn't work. and We just want to report gloom and doom. That's it. Because it makes them money. And that's the BBC. And I don't really like them. I wish I could just shoot a bullet into their head and just end them all because I've never liked them. PR, they were arrogant to Stampy Long Nose. <laughs> oh, how dare he, but when I... Oh, this is on YouTube, isn't it? This is... This is home ground, you know, this is like a battlefield. Y YouTube, isn't it? For... I wouldn't say for survival, but... You know, constantly moaning and bitching. <laughs> but no, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't ask him questions like, oh, well, how come, how come so many people watch you, and how come you get so much money? Can you explain the figures? And he's, he's sat there. I don't know exactly how, maybe not in 2014, but I know now how exactly how he feels. Someone asks you, how much money do you make off YouTube? And how many of you, why are people interested in this stuff? You sat there, and you're like, why are you interviewing me? Where's your technology reporter? Can you please get them to interview me? Because you're just some stupid, you know, 50-year-old boomer. <laughs> the only phrase I, I've only used that word once, and that's then. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I would say. And I'd probably get kicked off. Stamp oh, I'm not called Stampy Long Nose, am I? At least not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Expert's been rude again. <laughs> He's off. <laughs> not, not another interview for another five months. <sighs> am I finally where I'm meant to be? How do I get over there? Are you kidding me? Have I got to go... How? Am I going to go underground? I'm in hell, right? And bloody, bloody juggling. <laughs> bloody, I'm bloody, dr blo bloody drunk and bloody juggling. Do you know how I feel? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm looking for somewhere underground. Oh. 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 Um. Is that the way to the portal? Yeah, it is. That's the way I've came in. Right, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. But yeah, I know I would have thought we would have been able to make their own masks, the NHS. You know, as soon as we've got so much money. And how we, how hard is it to make a mask, right? You make masks in year one, don't you? For Halloween. I mean, like, what do we mean? Do we mean shielded masks? You know, like, what bloody electricians wear? Or do we mean masks that are like, you know... Like dentist masks, you know what I mean? What what are we talking about when they say masks? It's like saying, "Oh yeah, can we have a lot of pens, please?" The art department, we can have a lot of pens, a lot of pens. What sort of pens? F you know, fine liner. You know what I mean? Full ink, acrylic, stencil. I know they're not pens, but can we just have some pens and pencils? Acrylic, stencil, fine liner. Highlighter. What do you bloody want? Make it clear. You're not being transparent. No wonder bloody people are dropping like flies. Because nobody's being transparent with it. Well, I just don't feel like anyone really knows about it. So I wouldn't take a word. In sight from them. From who? Hey, I'm talking about the BBC again. Sorry, I know it's a constant moan between two bloody houses here. But I don't know. If I'm, t I'm, if I'm talking politics, a lot of you like to jump in and... Talk about how you guys feel about it. And you know, it, you're allowed to do that on YouTube, as far as I'm aware. 
I do read the terms of service every now and again, but <laughs> well, that's not good enough every now and again, but if your bloody mother's watching, or somebody, someone's grandma's accidentally wa watching this video and be like, oh, well, where, where's the report section? Where can I report this video? Top, 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 bottom, top, bottom, <laughs> top, top, bottom, where the X is. No, 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 no. See the little blue thumbs up button? Yeah, click that and you can report the content. It flags it. And the little thumbs up. Oh, wait, it says subscribe. Yeah, you're subscribing for it to be reported. So. <laughs> oh, no, that's naughty. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I feel like the geriatrics ward would be watching this. Alright, I think I've said enough now. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, they'll be getting people to like my videos over naughty content. Yeah. This isn't really naughty content, I'm just stating an opinion, which you can do on YouTube. <laughs> as far as I'm aware. I only read the terms of service every now and again. <laughs> right, are we under that lava bit now? Bloody hope so. Yeah, if I was live, people would be saying, oh, well, I think this, and yeah, you're right, I agree. <laughs> Typical bloody fans on YouTube, guys. Everyone agrees with what you say. I mean, yeah, I get some people, intelligent people watching, so if I think if I said anything naughty, I think they would say, hey, do you have a lawyer? <laughs> and the answer is no. So, for me, well, how do you need a lawyer? I think Stampy has need lawyers. Illegal lawyers, probably. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't have a lawyer. Well, 7,000 subscribers, you expect me to have a lawyer? Maybe you Q&A Wednesday tomorrow. Do you have a lawyer? <laughs> and if so, what's his name? Well, his name's Samuel Peeps. <laughs> and I'm Sam, so it's the bloody teddy bear down. No, it's the cat under the bed. That's me lawyer. More like the... More like the... More like the... More like the... The... <laughs> the giver-upper. The giver-upper. He hasn't been given up yet. He's on new medication, the cat. Yeah, no, bloody kitty cats are weird, aren't they? Oh, even our really aggressive female cat, it's not even ours, it's three neighbours, Misty. And then we just get cats for free, us, don't we? But, um, yeah. Can you catch, can you catch the, uh, the discount code on promo code for cats? Yeah, a per, permo code, not a promo code, a, a per, permo code. Because they're purring, I'm happy to see you. Which is not our Benji at the moment, he's hiding under the bed whenever he sees us. No, he's like a little Chinese man in a... An American shop. All right, I think we said enough about the Chinese. All right, so it's a bull. It's a bull in a China shop, and then it's a, a Chinese man in an American shop, and they're hiding. Well, at the moment, I reckon the Chinese are scared. They're keeping quiet about a lot, aren't they? I don't trust them. Don't trust them. You know when it says something made in China? It's going in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> it's going in the bin. But what bin? Recycling bin? Uh, the, um, the green bin? Hey, yeah, I bloody like the NHS again. What what bloody masks do you want? And everybody Boeing and Airbus scratching your head like, what's this bloody stupid effing company want? Do they want masks? Or do they want... What masks? What masks do you want? Gas masks? Yeah, the same gas masks. <laughs> yeah, we are. stop them whining. Oh no, that's, that's not right, is it? <laughs> Laughing gas masks? There we are. Patients are laughing. Yeah, God, this virus isn't a joke, isn't it? <laughs> That's not funny. So I'm making a joke out of something my granddad started of. Penfield would find it funny. We might be nodding his head up there now, wouldn't he? I know, do you know when you die and they say you're watching from above? Can you watch your own funeral? And that's another thing I said to my granddad. I said, you know, you know what what happens after death? Yeah, I kind of said it in front of everyone. Everyone was like Sam, and yeah, everyone was like, uh, and my granddad was like, I suppose we don't really know what happens when we die. I mean, I mean, when I keel over in the garden, as I've so-called planned it, I mean, Anne's like, oh, here we go again, <laughs> and then he says, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll come, I'll come down from heaven, <laughs> and I'll let you know here. <laughs> yeah, well, there he is walking with his dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my granddad's. My granddad. My granddad said, "Yeah, he'd let me know. Maybe he is. Maybe with the feathers we've been seen and all the other stuff we've been seeing. Maybe he's letting us know that. If it's alright, is me. If my granddad's in my room, make my cap fly onto my head. Oh my god! Imagine if it did it. <laughs> imagine if I was doing a, a live stream as well. Just <laughs> funny that would be. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine if my cap just flew onto my head. I'm expecting it to land on my head." <laughs> 
Ah, oh, it's pretty sat still, isn't it? You <laughs> do at the end of a video and be like, Oh, this cap, I didn't know I was wearing this cap. Oh no, it flew on. You know when you're expecting something? No, I don't I don't I don't think ghosts have that power. Oh, you never know you never know in a paranormal world, do you? More like paranoid Norman. Smoking the weed. <laughs> My uncle Norman smoking the weed, naughty. Yeah, he smokes weed every day. Not every day, but every year now, isn't it? And he works out uh, at, my, um, at, at, my na at my grand's. I know, my grand's got weights, like 20 kilogram weights. And I'm like, grand, you really use them? I think I said when I was a little, I said, why is an old lady like you doing weights? And she, and she said, <gasps> and she used to look after me a lot. I was little. I used to sleep in the same bed when I was two, and she she said, "No, and you know, like tights. When women wear tights, I was picking at them once when I was two, and this is probably why I'm my favourite grandchild because she I literally spent all the time with her when my mum and dad were in work. She used to take me to port sunlight and take me to the fountain. Used to walk in and fall in. <laughs> Apparently, she had to dive in one day to save me drowning. I'm not kidding. It's a dozy bugger. Um, and yeah, um." I suppose we all have these stories, but yeah, um, I was picking out her tights one day. Um, she was, she was like my second mum. I didn't know who was mum. <laughs> you know, like women's tights are uh, like elasticated. I was picking out the mum because I was two. I was like, I had this horrible look on my face. And I was picking out her tights. And she was like, what? And, and I was like, N -n Gran, why is your skin so stretchy? <laughs> but she was wearing tights and that. I didn't know. I remember it vividly. I was, yeah. She always brings that up. So, yeah, she's always bringing that up. What is she? A bloody cat with fur balls. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. So, still dozy now. Still picking at me mum's tights and sticking, <laughs> sticking them around my head for Friday vlog. <laughs> oh God! I always wear bras before Doom. <laughs> before Doom. <laughs> I don't even do Doom. I might be doing Doom. Oh, catch this! I might be doing Doom. After Rage 2, Doom Eternal, this is because people are pestering me. How do you do it to keep the crowd sh bloody quiet? It's like the bloody Olympics. <laughs> it's like the bloody Olympics. <laughs> oh my god, how do you close these boys? We'll close another portal in this video. I'm gonna be productive. I'm gonna yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a lovely day, which is a good because it's a. My granddad always used to. He's so sun prone. He always had these. Black hair, I think they were cancerous in the end spots on his baldy head and yeah, um he was always sitting every photo I've got on him and, and, and every photo I've got on him Ugh, that's disgusting. Every photo I've got of him, he's sitting in the sun. He was so sun prone, he always used to sit in and he loved nice weather, he absolutely loved it. And when he was getting winched out in the wheelchair, you know four Thursdays ago, you know when he peacefully died in the hospital, yeah, he said, uh, oh, lovely morning, and it's five in the morning, he had the, yeah, that was the uh, beginning of the end, if, you know, to all respect to that term, beginning of the end, is that, is that, I was saying, oh, yeah, Tuesday, he's getting cooked, that's not a good phrase, and that's not a good term to use for a funeral, God, if my dad was, he was really, really just give me a crack to if I said all this, we might lie, you never know, you know, it's either, uh, that's why I don't know what to say in bloody videos. I'm really being raised right. My mum and dad thinks the back, me, me back, the sun shines at me backside. And ah, uh, oh, Sam, nobody touches ah, oh, Sam. But bad grammar. Get me bloody eyes, bloody. <laughs> get me bloody eyes torn inside out. <laughs> bad grammar. I am quite prone for bad grammar, and my dad's not proud of it. He's, he always tells tells me when I've used bad grammar, and I don't mean swearing. I mean like. You know, stuff like, oh, it's the baddest thing ever. It was it was badder than that. No, it was worse than that. It was badder. You know, I used to say that, and he used to bloody shout at me and say, if you're using words like that in the future, and you're in front of a little, like, solicitors or lawyers, yeah, or, you know, work, he used to say, you know, he said, you, you, you're going to, you know, you, you're going to be on the dole. And I was like, oh, Christ. So I better not use words like that. And he was like, nah, I just use them all the time. I've been sarcastic, but... Yeah, it's about making an impression of yourself in life, and my granddad always taught me to shake somebody's hand thoroughly and look them in the eye. That's how you know your seniorities 
at the top of a board, if you will. And uh, I learned a lot from my grand, <laughs> a lot more from, from my dad. <laughs> so we'll be on the dole if I'm <laughs> using <laughs> grammar. That doesn't, I know. Not never mind Grammarly. It doesn't even change your grammar, Grammarly. It's just just autocorrect. I know really people that coded that, but they really, but they're Indian and they didn't even pay tax. Yeah, typical. You know, typical Muslim, really garbage. I think, I think there's a photo recovery app called, um, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, and it recovers your photos and he said oh, it was dead good and I tried to use it. This time last year, you know, to recover my YouTube videos deleted. I deleted a lot of uh, bloody uh, pictures off my computer. And I had it overnight and I was like, I'm getting rid of this bloody Indian trash. I know, India, stick to making you curry and your, your mutated babies. With your rabies and don't try with techno. Yeah, you, know, you know when we say certain cultures are just good at something, and they say, oh, you shouldn't stereotype. You shouldn't say, oh, the Chinese are this and oh, you know, you know, Britain's so big on engineering. You know, any country can do it. You know, Russia copy and China copy. No, but it a lot of resemblances you see. You do wonder why people say that. You know, they say the Indians are doctors, and I suppose it's a bit of a stereotype, but if it is so true, why can't it just be a fact? Why can't it just be like, and so? You know when we say like, orangutans are in Indonesia. They live on one island in Indonesia. And you know, you know, someone would look at you and be like, well, that is true. Why can't it be like that? We, I know, here we go, with race again, everyone thinks, oh, there's a race. You know, black, you know people in Africa? Did you know they're black? I'd get bloody sent out of the classroom. Whereas my dad would say, uh, that's, 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 that's right. <laughs> that's not funny. But the ones in South Africa can be white. Is that right? Oh, I don't know, it's just do like that. And then my mum would say, oh, don't encourage him. And this is why I am now. I don't know, maybe other people don't have a guts to say this on YouTube. Um, I'm not saying I have a guts, but, I don't know, I've been... I am, I am aware I've come out with some pretty odd little conversations. It's not really racist as such. I'm not like a little, you know, lightweight that's scared about saying, oh, this and that and that. I say exactly what I think. I do. I'm not afraid of it. I know I'm making a public video, but... If there's any YouTube channel to shoot down, shoot down those, those bloody spam accounts and bloody sidemen. I mean, you know, what have they achieved in their life? Nothing. So, yeah. Oh, so have I, what have I achieved in my life? Nothing. At least I've actually made videos that people have said, you know, they felt emotional about, or, you know, at least people at the moment aren't saying, oh, I wish, I wish Sam was like the old Sam. You know, the, the, ter the, the Terraria expert was like the old Terraria expert. You know, that's what people say about the side then, because they're all changing because their bloody fame's got to their far too quick, and they're... I was like, I thought my mum was coming in my room to look at the cat. Yeah, I deliberately said, yeah, the cat's in my room, I'm doing a video, so... If you're gonna stroke him... <laughs> dig a hole through the wind... Hang on, how can you dig a hole through the window? Dig a hole through the ceiling? <laughs> right, that's just defying gravity now. <laughs> but yeah, you know, so, you know, bro. It's like a balloon, you start off all like, um, or for them anyway, yeah, all flimsy and all wrinkly and... Bit of a melt, but... Yeah, they inflate the they inflate themselves by their head. If you do, if that makes any sense, I you know I, I can go down the road and just think, oh, what am I going to buy from the shop? Hmm, going to buy sour jacks. Less than half an hour. <laughs> I'm talking about when I go to school. Um, after I got less than Miss Jones. You know what I mean? I walk down the road normal, but they like have to deliberately drive in their expensive cars and like get out and like put on sunglasses or something to pretend not to be seen or something because they think they're really important and they do all their stupid hair and they, you know, probably post all sorts about each other and they absolutely. I just don't think they're very nice people. I don't. I used to watch them until probably, you know, in 2018. You know, cause you, it, you know when people mature, but some people mature faster than others. And it doesn't depend about age. It just depends about 
how you're being grown up and you know common sense and what's yeah, it's like it's like the in between us. It's only funny once. It is. It's only funny once. There's no point E4 releasing things that were made 15 years ago and you know it getting a million views and then you know I, the in between us. It was funny once. You know I've watched it over again once with my dad and my mum and my mum and dad were just like it's only funny once isn't it it's, you know it's not like um you know it's not like I don't know like um I don't know like Freddy Star or something or you know you know it you know it's only funny once and they're not even funny they're you know they're more just like trainee scumbags <laughs> for me yeah I suppose I was around that kind of age group of but still I kind of watched them in 2015 2016 2017 two years I kind of was kind of looking at what they were doing the sidemen and now I'm like god it, you know there's so much I can get so much more out of watching the story of how the IL-62 came about copying the VC-10 and that's a pretty boring story compared to one of the really silly whisper challenge videos you know all trying to tinder dates or you know all that garbage you know I don't why well, there's bubbles on the screen um yeah <laughs> he said why is JJ on my screen <laughs> no I, I I take no interest or no in what they do I'm I feel like I'm miles apart from that content at the moment I'm happy because I'm into other things I, I can get a lot of you know is it your brain you know it's, it's the most powerful tool my granddad said it's, it's like a muscle you've got to exercise it and and you've probably heard that one before a mu your brain's a muscle you've got to exercise it mm -hmm. so yeah I suppose that's true I know anything anyone else has heard about loads I feel like it's bullshit but if it's like a really good saying maybe it is true I don't know you only live once. I mean, <laughs> that's more bloody stupid. It's even anything. Maybe the cat might not agree, but because the cat thinks it's got nine lives. Well, has it got nine lives? Exactly. It's like very, very an odd story. But maybe we should be looking up that instead of. And he said bloody cures for the virus. Oh no. Have cats got nine lives? So the cat gets run over by a car. But they're normally dead, right? But I don't know, maybe you could, <laughs> you could spring to life again. <laughs> oh, somebody's having a shower, you're gonna have a bloody bath going there <laughs> for the next ten minutes. <laughs> oh, I just feel sorry for the cat under the bed. <laughs> Which one is it? Mm. Bloody a bloody foul smell. Oh, here! A foul smell! Can you hear a foul smell? <laughs> mm. See, really see a spout. Lights going off. Oh, the old gato give me loads about updates. Yeah, I've told people not to go in my room and record. And I am, I'm a bossy little bugger. Right, these lot. Oh, I've got my little dagger out again. Look at me. That's a side, man. <laughs> Trainee scumbags. <laughs> Trainee scumbags. <laughs> Have you ever heard that? Come on, boys. Don't fall off there. So you can hear water running. And that's... Yeah, I, I live in the Amazon. <laughs> I'm near a big, big ass, <laughs> big, ass. <laughs> big ass waterfall. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm near, a, near a bathroom, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, people. A lot of people piss in the street where I live. <laughs> Watching the telly, and all of a sudden, from outside here, <laughs> my own gutters talking to me. <laughs> I see some of these bloody urinal going. So there's a toilet outside. <coughs> what are we, buddy? Business. Sorry about that. People can't listen to what I say. I just tell my mum to get out of my room, literally. Yeah, people can't listen to what I say. No, I, I don't live near people where people piss near the walls. I live near a buddy stupid department. God. Yeah, sorry, I got a bit annoyed then. You know, I tell people I'm recording. You know, it's not bloody MI5. You know, you've not got to think about it. I'm recording, don't come in. I'm gonna bloody have triple up the doors next time. <laughs> I'm gonna triple up the doors. <laughs> I will triple up the doors next time. 
I'm doing a video. <laughs> but he locks and screws. <laughs> Padlocks. I have a little gate outside the CCTV camera. And a little turret. So we say, Can we see Benji? <laughs> what did he shot at? Oh, God. No wonder the cat can't get out. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no. I just had to gently say, I'm recording. That's exactly how I put it. Oh, God. Sick of it. Bloody stupid cat. I mean, the cat. Cat doesn't want to move from under the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. Time for the funeral. Poor. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> no. Get dressed. And I'll be like, oh, you know, because you get used to a smell. I'll be like, oh, God, <laughs> the cat's gone. <laughs> the cat's just. <laughs> I don't think animals rot that quickly. There's just bones there. No, I think he flies around it and stuff, but. No, that, that, I hope our cat Benji doesn't go. And I'm a little sick bugger, aren't I? Uh, making jokes about death and talking about this. Yeah, because most people were dead upset about it. Mm. This is what makes me different compared to the Sardman, everyone. <laughs> I joke about death. Mm. People. Can you hear me? Oh, God, Voldemort round the corner. <laughs> We're living in strange times, so <laughs> wouldn't you say? <laughs> With the Voldemort's around the... Yeah, I'll have the virus in this year. Next year, every corner you turn, someone's pissing in the road. <laughs> and Voldemort <laughs> is behind you. Go away, Voldemort. <laughs> Look at him. Look, I'm going to destroy your little place. Can I just destroy it instead of hurting all these bloody enemies? Because I'm bloody sick of it. A, a, a feather. Dedication. It makes me more wanting, does it? It makes me more... Oh, I'm going to take you down. Oh, my God, listen to my voice, guys. It's really Sam Smith's on helium. <laughs> oh, God. Well, he's another one moaning about this virus. I know you should be really thankful you're not dead. You know what I mean? You haven't lost a relative. I've lost a relative. And I'm just getting on with life. Now, I'm not going to say, oh, look at me. Look how strong and resilient I am. Because I'm not about that. I'm just getting on with life. Getting on. See if it's normal. I know it's not normal. But in my head, I'm living like it's normal. Because I've been grown up to be like that. I know one day it will show it's not a good thing. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Oh yeah, yeah, the NHS, yeah, yeah, do you know what, we're, we're working extra hours, I'm aware of that, I'm aware of it all, and I take it truly into heart, but I'm just wondering why they can't make their own masks themselves, and I know they weren't ready for it, but, I mean, if they're not ready for it, that suggests they're not ready for the next, the person to cark it in the hospital, you know what I mean, how unpredictable can things be, you know what I mean, yeah, I suppose I can be a little brat when I want to, but, Mm. You know what I'm like with biology. I told you yesterday, Miss McCray's last night. Learned about the human, you know, blood cycle and all that. And boy, did I want to. <laughs> Let's watch him die. <laughs> boy, did I want to know anything about it. I had my head on the desk and I was like, oh, I'm saving this knowledge for something useful one day instead of knowing what the difference between white blood cells and red. Uh, yeah. And I, said, I think I said once, Miss, is it like. um? Rhubarb and custard is one bit. Is you you cut your blood open, put you cut your skin open, and she was looking, you know, because uh, you know, cut your skin. Oh, it's like the it's like, you know politically correct teacher. Are oh, you talking about with your self harming? Are you? And I was like, no, no, no. I'm talking about if you cut your skin open. Do you know your blood? Is it like ice cream sometimes? Is it white, or is it sometimes is it red? So is that red blood cells and white blood cells? And she kind of said, no. I just didn't get it, and I still don't. It was red blood cells and white blood cells. And your blood's red. So white blood cells, they're red. So your blood... Sorry, white blood cells are white. So would your blood be white? Be bloody blue for all we know, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I kind of made a silly comment about rhubarb and custard. Is it like rhubarb and custard? Is some of it white and some of it red? And she... If you cut it, is it white sometimes? And I think she just sent me out again. I know she was quite prone for me. Yeah. Not having a liking. Uh, uh, we kind of know these teachers as well. It's all based on a relationship. Like, oh, you don't like what I study? Well, up yours. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 
So I, I've got um. Oh, she's all right. I was saying, oh, I was doing the, I'm doing the prefect. And she said, oh, how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm all right. <laughs> and she said, oh, do you know any more? Yeah, I was doing the prefect. Oh, yeah, back to the bloody prefect in the olden days, guys. This is why I never get compared to not being as good as I used to. Because I'm always getting better. <laughs> what am I, bloody Ryanair? <laughs> it's always getting better, guys. <laughs> the prices are always getting better. <sighs> Have you seen the new iPhone? Apparently Apple have made a new iPhone. My mum, my mum, my sister came running downstairs this, mo this morning. I can't speak. Um, just show me the new iPhone SE, and it's four, four hundred pound. I mean, they're obviously targeting a bit of a, an audience now, aren't they? Um, which is a good thing. Um, middle of the market, sort of thing I would buy. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, my humble life of being poor. <laughs> Who am I, buddy? Cheryl Cole! <laughs> Cheryl Cole, why has it got everything to do with that? <laughs> oh, well, I'll start slapping black women in the face if you don't give me a chocolate in a minute. <laughs> oh, you didn't give me a chocolate, did you? Oh, oh no, that's Welsh! You didn't give me a chocolate, did you, laddie? Oh, you know no, I am Cheryl, Cheryl Cole. You know, I'll bitch slap you. Yeah. Not a very nice woman, to be fair, guys. Yeah. I've heard all their music and. How do you think I feel when you call my name? Probably really the same. <laughs> all blame and yeah. it's all about my name. Right, it didn't work. Look at Cheryl Cole's brain. <laughs> Someone drilling a hole in it. <laughs> a fiery hole. <laughs> Someone drilling a hole in Cheryl Cole's brain. That's Cheryl Cole's brain, everyone. Look at it. <laughs> and they're all the horrible tarty nails. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You die, yeah. Walk downstairs, Voldemort. You've got something better to do. I'm not doing it all over again. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, look at this. No. No, I'm going upstairs to destroy your little world. Your little world. You, you hear that? I am. I've had enough. I'm fed up. <laughs> I'm fed up. <laughs> I'm fed up of a video game I play. Now, we've, we've done all this. I've fought them all. You're hiding Steve Jobs. <laughs> Why are you hiding Steve Jobs? That makes no sense. <laughs> Could you even hide Steve Jobs? Is, is he even a is he even a being at a moment? Is he even a being? He's really dead. <laughs> Died years ago. Of leukemia or something? Don't know. I don't know. I'm making my own stuff at a moment. I'm making my own stuff better than Apple. Oh yeah, back to Apple. The iPhone SE. Uh, looks a bit like the 8. Uh, see, that's the thing. Apple kind of make, make iPhones just to fill up another year. I know, not a lot has been said about Apple recently. As soon as they make a new product, they get bloody criticised and bang, don't they? They get absolutely humped by the press, but... Yeah. Hello, mate. Hello, lad. <laughs> but... Uh, they're kind of being quiet, being the usual self. Apple only really say stuff when the new iPhone's out and then... People are not happy with it because it resembles too much of last year's bloody model. And people are like, oh. If I made a phone, I'd make a technology company. Cherry Expert, Cherry, Cherry Expert Electronics. E Expertronics. <laughs> Expertronics. <laughs> Sounds like a bloody Sonic boss. Oh, lovely. Um, And yeah, you know, I'd be like, oh, yeah. Well, this phone this year is going to be better than iPhone. It's going to have voice recognition that can log you in. It's going to have a fingerprint scanner, because I'm all about different types of technology. I'm like the Chinese. If there's not a one way to do this thing, there's another way to do that. I like that. So, with the Chinese at the moment. Uh, come on, guys. You've got to be doing better than that. Yeah. This bloody virus has let them down, I know. I suppose they could have developed from anywhere. Yeah. Except from China. <laughs> Can develop them from anywhere, but it has to be in China, right? Wuhan, Beijing. Take your pick. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> what is this bloody pick a mix? <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> virus? <laughs> what sort of virus? <laughs> AIDS? Ebola? Take your pick. <laughs> oh no, that's not funny. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get bloody bastarded for that tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I make, I make it sound funny and I've just lost a relative over it. That makes me think it's alright to talk about, but it's not. Even my granddad was joking about it. He was saying, all the planes at Manchester, Sam, will be called 
Corona Express. And that's what he died of, so I find that a bit sad, but at least he lived a good life. At least I can keep on talking about it. and Because nobody's making a joke about it. Everyone's like, oh, this virus. It's, it's almost like the, um, the gap in their life. Like, oh, I can't do this and I can't do that. And yeah, I accept that, but nobody's having fun with it. Everyone at the beginning was saying, oh, it's the media, everyone's overreacting. And people were, but maybe they were right. Or maybe it was just coincidence, you know what I mean? Little girls on their phone, like, oh, have you had this, oh, this virus? <laughs> yeah, it's really bad, isn't it? And all this, and yeah. And it is actually that bad, so I'm not going to say those little idiots are right, but... I just think I'm always right. I think I'm always in the right. I'm never in the wrong. And as long as I accept it, go ahead, be my guest. <laughs> wow, that's very ambiguous, isn't it? What does that mean? Be my guest. Well, like, can I be your guest? I know you shouldn't be inviting me to funerals, should they? <laughs> should they? <laughs> he said, should he? <laughs> wasn't invited. Just happened to be a family member. <laughs> oh, God. I just happen to be a family member. Do we come in? Of course you do. You've old them all. <laughs> You've old them all. <laughs> I'm healing. Just keep healing and healing. Come on, little Upsy. Upsy. Upsy Daisy, here we go. Macka Packer smacks it in Upsy Daisy. <laughs> Upsy Daisy. I've just done an Upsy Daisy and Upsy Daisy. Oh, you're going to be pregnant now. <laughs> <laughs> you macka pack a uh, Wacky packy dream. Oh my god, I shouldn't have said that. I meant wacky backy. I said pee at the start of backy. Oh no. <laughs> Nobody heard it. Wacky backy dream. Uh, another thing to cut out of this video. Bloody hell. God, who am I? Bloody... I think I work for Channel 4. <laughs> Cutting out all the swear words. <sighs> I'm not Channel 4. I'm not doing your job. This is my own content. Imagine working for someone else. Imagine how horrible that must be. Waking up in the morning thinking, oh, this isn't my own thing. I'd feel so unmotivated, I would. Working for someone else. I'm thinking more like if I worked as a nurse. Why would I work as a nurse? It's the most depressing job in the world. I mean, you might get paid well, but I wouldn't want to turn into one of those losers, would I? Oh, one of those losers. I'm referring to my mum's friend again. Sorry. My mum's friends destroyed the perception of healthcare workers for me. Not my fault, her fault. I didn't take any blame because I'm always in the right. Have we done it yet? Yeah? Another portal down. A Master of Blades can be performed. Perform a forward power attack with a chance of. whatever. Never go to that place ever again, guys. Who's firing at me now? Luke and Robert and the twins. Hi, guys. Mm. Luke and Robert and the twins. What? Oh, I'm probably going to get battered after this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by me dad. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to wear a pink tie tomorrow. <laughs> a pink tie. <laughs> no, I'm my dad will wear a pink tie. He is quite pr prone for wearing pink, my dad. He is. Not because he's a... Because... I know it's just a colour he, he had a pink hoodie once and he had a pink hat and he had a pink polo shirt and he was like, What's wrong with pink? It's good. Matches the garden. And I'm like, Yeah, you've 100,000 miles away. 100,000? So he's on the moon? <laughs> a thousand miles away from the garden. You remember Menorca and everyone was looking at him on the beach. He had a pink towel and I was like, Oh, yeah, my dad's got some weird thing with the colour pink. But he says, I'm not gay, I'm not a lufter. I just like the colour pink. Oh, is he? He's from Leeds now. <laughs> I like the colour pink. But, lad, I don't think you should be talking about Grandma <laughs> in your videos. <sighs> yeah, my nan's making cake. Oh, no, sorry, my mum's making cakes and my nan's going to make soup for me. Just for me. Me Uncle Dave's going to moan on because he's bloody paralytic about, Oh, keep your distance, Sam. So he's going to be a pain in the arse tomorrow. At the... Yeah, we're having a... Uh, Awake, but I'm a nan's house and just immediate family. I like me Uncle Dave, but it can be a pain in the ass about the sort of things I might not even go. I might just say, Yeah, I've got stuff to do. I'm not gonna. I'll be there for the funeral, obviously, but my Uncle Dave's gonna start moaning. 
Wow, oh, Sam, keep your distance away from Nan. Because that's what he's like, me Uncle Dave. He can be annoying sometimes. And I just say, Dad, can I just go over? He's just going to keep moaning on. Funny today was po pacing up and down my Nan's Nan garden. Saying, oh, I think I've got it, you know, I think I've got it. And I might not be able to make it. It's tomorrow's funeral. It's his bloody dad. Yeah, my Uncle Dave's not the complete opposite of my dad, let's just say. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> Wimpy, but he's all right. He's better than me, Uncle Norman, who smokes weed through bloody, bloody, bloody loft windows. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's a doff bimbo. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, so if he's gonna give it loads, I'm just gonna go home because I can't. You know, in grief, I can't stand faff after that. Oh look, I've had it before. No. I just can't stand the faff and the. Uh, yeah. I am, I am. It's either take it or leave it at the moment for me. It really is, like... Yeah. Well, first of all, yeah, we don't really like... Thingy, thingy, what's her name? But also, yeah. I don't know. He's going to keep moaning. And he does, he moans. And... Well, bitch about the family, yeah. We'll play this at the funeral as well, and then... Me and Uncle Dave will be having a scrap. And then it'll all be alright, because he's like that. He's like, oh, yes, I know... Well, me and him got into a massive argument once, me and my Uncle Dave about something. God knows what. And then all of a sudden, the dog ran off its leaves and he's like, Sam, go and get that. And he was alright, and we were like, oh yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, a nice day today, isn't it? And it was like, and we both forgot about it. And it, we literally just both forgot about it, and it was odd. It was odd. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, scary, but, I don't know, you probably wouldn't, wouldn't live my life, would you? Dealing with bloody nutcases and when they're half drunk. Yeah, not great. We get on with it, as I said. I get on with it. I'm not taking it for granted, I'm just... Leave it there. Hmm. <laughs> having a fight with me, Uncle. <laughs> Lovely funeral. Why are you moaning about this? And they'll be like, oh, let's watch the cremation. And we've both got our light legs together and we're like... Hmm. Have you got, uh, got, got some marshmallows? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's not funny, but my granddad would find it the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Marshmallows at a cremation, you know. Stuff like that is funny. He found that funny, and I just want to, you know, heart and soul out to all that sort of stuff. I do, I want to not be, you know, you wouldn't want me moping round. You probably wouldn't want me talking theft about the NHS, and I haven't really spoken theft about them, but some little things of... Just being a little, aren't they like, you know, chatting up Airbus about, Airbus? What's Airbus? He's an Airbus. <laughs> Airbus. God, I know Airbus might be not doing too well for A380, but there's no reason to call them Airbrush. <laughs> yeah. Airbrush. Airbus made an Airbrush. <laughs> God. No, Airbus has made a ventilator. That apparently the NHS, uh, I wouldn't say they can't do, but probably don't have the time to do at the moment because they're so overrided. People are working extra shifts. You could make a ventilator just on your bill. Just on the <laughs> just on the plop. <laughs> just going for my air. Uh, and I feel like that's what it's like at the NHS. I'm just going for my air. Uh, I'm just going for my air. Uh, me, me, me lunch hour cafe. Alright. I bet they're all called cafe and they're all like got glasses on with short hair. Oh yeah, I guess what? I saw two lesbians today holding hands. Uh, and my dad said, oh hello girls. And they kind of just smiled, and I was like, why are you saying hello? And he said, two lesbians. And they were both holding hands, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I never saw that. <laughs> just the fact that he ran down the window and said hello, girls, was like, yeah, as you do. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> and your toy cat. What are you doing? I hope this won't take long. Blacked your hair, blacked your hair. My name is Hestrel Otters. Not Toy Cat, no. No. Well, I've taken down the portal. Oh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Play some Hunger Games. I mean, there's no chat. I've done Oblivion. Ta da! Yeah, so. I know, I just don't understand why we can't make a, a ventilator. Or like ma More like masks. I understand the NHS. Have I do. My heart goes out to all the workers out there. I'm just puzzled why extra hours are not achieving some things I would have thought 
let's just say a company like that would would have the expertise to mass produce. Is that a viable term? And I'm using all these big words so I sound not hypocritical, but if I sound unhypocritical, they'll just mute me like, ah, I just doesn't know what he's talking about. I want to use all these big words so people are like, ah, interesting speech, Mr. Lockett. Yeah, yeah, I wonder when we will be, yeah, will be waiting for me, 300 pound burst, from the school still, Mr. Johns is saying, if you don't send it, he'll follow it up, he'll chase them up about it. So, yeah. Oh, that's what it's called, yeah, me Uncle Dave's writing a pack, Packle Bell on the guitar, Packle Bell. As saying Baby Bell. <laughs> uh, no, I just don't want people to be moaning because my Uncle Dave, not to be a bitch, can be a bit. You know, times like these, like, oh, you know, I saw him the other day and he just did like a little cross. And I was like, yeah, I know what you mean. At first I thought he meant death. <laughs> but he went, and like, don't get close. And I was just like, just did the same. I was like, same. And then he started waving at a taxi driver for some weird reason. I just don't want people to be... I mean, it not as like an argumentative thing. Like, oh, Uncle Dave's been annoying and... Uh, yeah, but you can be a bit annoying with... Yeah, like, oh... Yeah. The hive, yeah. Don't... Yeah, keep your distance, Sam. Um, and if it's going to be all that, it's going to be that for the afternoon. I'm just going to go home and do something that... You know, yeah, we're gonna have a a, a buffet more like at Manor. <laughs> yeah, and at the buffet. Oh, what did I say once? Um, I wanted to say yeah. My nan had a buffet, and it was the end of a but. Oh no, it was the start of a buffet. You know, a buffet, and you put like a big sheet over all the food. <laughs> and we had like a table. It was at my nan's. It was like a table, right? And it was a buffet. We had like, a table. Oh my god, this isn't oblivion, and it's not a live stream. Yeah, we had a buffet at my nan's. And, um, yeah, the table was there and you put the cloth over so flies and, you know, it's outside. Midges don't eat it. And, um, you know, <laughs> the, the, the midges have their starter before you. And, um, yeah, I think some, my, my auntie Helen lost her dad. And, um, I think it was around the same time as that and I, I said, uh, I forgot to, forgot about it. I said, um, oh, look at the, look at the, look at this. <laughs> it looks like a, uh, what did I say? It looks like a... What does it say? It looks like a post-mortem or something. <laughs> it looks like, um, I don't know, it looks like, oh, what's it called? Not a post-mortem. It looks like, yeah, post-mortem. You only cut someone open to find out what, and the body and just like two feet at the end sticking out. <laughs> yeah, I said something like that. I said, oh, look at it. It looks like a, looks like a, uh, <laughs> yeah, post-mortem. It looks like a post-mortem. You know, you know, with a table with all the food on it. And like the cloth over it, it looked like someone was under there and said, <laughs> oh, Look at this, it looks like a post mortem. My granddad just opened his mouth and just yelled, laughing, just went, ah! <laughs> Yeah, and then, yeah, I gave him, did I give him one of my gummy bear Harry bows? <laughs> what is it with me? With gummy bear Harry bows? <laughs> I've got them everywhere. <laughs> and I was giving them, and I gave him one of the gummy ones, and his teeth are quite gummy. And I said to me, Auntie Helen, oh, look, gummy on gummy. And she just burst out laughing. And it can be a funny one when I want to, but... Like the NHS, I don't take it for granted. Yeah, do I, L? Oh, sorry, do they, L? Oh, crap. Yeah, I just don't want any moaning tomorrow. Oh, it's not all about me. It's about my granddad. Well, you wouldn't want that either, so... None of us would want it. What's this? Limited time. Ground wars. No, do I yeah, want that? What could we play, guys? I know some of you would want to see how the airport's going. I'm standing the airport. Survivor games. Solo. Solo! Did I do so Oh, no. Solo's yourself. I know you said duos. Duos are with two bloody people. What's the people you frame drops? Oh, Alex, you need your hair cut. <laughs> oh, no, you can't, because everyone's bloody close. Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, my nan, yeah. Be careful with your hair's everywhere. You know, because no hairdressers are at, at the moment. My dad's starting to look like he used to when he was 18 in the 80s. You've all seen hair in the 80s, haven't you? Starting to look like something from Bloody Dead or Alive. <laughs> it's looking bloody ridiculous. <laughs> I'm alright, because my mum cut it and... Hey, you stole my coo you stole my cookies. <laughs> okay, I'm limited to chicken and snowballs. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the uh, KFC's gone. Down, down the drop again. 
Yeah, KFC's opening soon. Can't wait to get that. That, that chicken looker thing in good. <gasps> chicken looker thing. Oh, I thought I said something. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought I said something. <laughs> chicken. Chicken looky thing. Yeah, I thought, sorry, I thought I put an N in front of licking then. Uh, about an L. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I've had enough. <laughs> I don't know if this bloody video. It's not even a live stream, no. I'm off on one. What do you think I'm off drunk? I was drunk on... Was it Saturday? The Rage 2 video. Was it Saturday? Hey! Hey! Hey, we're on PC! <laughs> ah! <laughs> we're on PC, girl. I remember this. Listen, I've had grief, and you can't do this. <laughs> you can't do this. I'll just build me airport if I die. <laughs> Piss off. Go on off. <laughs> Go on off. Go on off, do it on a sloth. <laughs> Doesn't be dirty die. <laughs> Go on off. Go off and do it on sloth. Oh. <laughs> do it from Sid off Ice Age. Is it Sid? Yeah, Sid the sloth. Yeah, some kid said, um, my cousin Aaron said his mate called, um, what's his name? Sid Sindel. Just Sindel. Looks like Sid off Ice Age. And it's probably the funniest thing he's ever said, actually. He is, he's, he's quite modest, Aaron, my, my, my cousin, distant cousin, yeah, my granddad's dad's brother, and then it goes down from there. I always say that, don't I? Yeah, he's quite modest, I like Aaron, he's keeping himself to himself, we both talk, and I, recently, apparently, he's been asking my, yeah, I think it's my granddad's, was it his cousin, sister-in-law, I don't know, it's, if it's your dad, if it's your dad's, Brother, if it's your dad's brother, brother's, dad's brother's daughter, it was that to my granddad. So yeah, his, his, his cousin, his cousin Margaret, I think it was, said, oh yeah, which is Aaron's grandma. Yes, yeah, that sort of family. At least it's not bloody incest. Um, yeah, said, yeah, Aaron, he's funny because he's never really checking how people are. And he, he, he's a really nice lad, you know, he's not like me, he's a nice lad and, you know, heart's in the right place, he is. Everyone likes Aaron. My dad said, oh, I love Aaron, he's great, isn't he? Um, and yeah, I suppose he is related, yeah, he's my cousin, same blood. Um, and yeah, funny because he looks around like me, he kind of like admires things a bit like me and I kind of, when I look at something I'm not quite happy with it, I kind of, you know, some of the lads at school are kind of, Look and then kind of do like a frown, like, what are they up to? What are they doing? What? <laughs> and then I start bossing people around and my prefecting. Only because that's what Dan Johns told me to do. Oh god, this looks familiar. <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, my runway's a little better than this guy's. Let's just say. Yeah, I've got them, the tracks, yeah, I've got them. The runway line's not big enough. Have we got the number of a runway? Six, runway six. Yeah, it's got to be facing in the right direction for six. Hmm. And that plane, everyone overbuilds planes in Minecraft. Oh my, the plane expert. Yeah, yeah, Trevi Explot. Explot! Like Trevi Explot. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Is that a Dakota? Is that a DC3? By any chance? It's over big. Look at the engines. Look at it! Yeah, I, I don't build planes like that. Too big. Yeah, DC3. Fuck me. <laughs> Have you seen the DC3? <laughs> the Dakota. A warplane. World War II. Used as a mailing service back in the 1950s and used to carry passengers after that. And then the DC4 and then the DC10. Very flammable. I know we can't hear a word of saying, but <laughs> might find it interesting. Show, show you here in the Dark Horse. In the Dark Horse, I've been listening to fucking Katy Perry too much. <coughs> sorry, I, I'm aware I'm swearing, sorry. It's a Blivering video, it's been rated. Depending on what game I played before, it depends if I swear after this. I keep doing these mu mutated videos. They might be saying, oh, you incest kids out there. <laughs> so back to Katy Perry. Um, yeah, look at this mutated video, guys. And don't you enjoy it? So, Oblivion and Hunger Games. It's only, it's only because you want it, isn't it? Because you want it, you really, really want it, eh? It's been a week since I played Hunger Games, God knows, don't care. This is an eager player, he's probably bored out of his skin. <laughs> bored out of his skin? 
<laughs> He's got a rubbish skin. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, bugger off. <laughs> That's what we all do. <laughs> Never mind, yeah. Mm. Oh, they're funny Minecraft players, aren't they? They're very comical. Unlike the comical Canadian. Yeah, we're dealing with a spam, guys. The spam's going down. <laughs> Thankfully, we're, we're dealing with it. Oh, I keep getting it, and I keep reporting it to Google, and they keep saying, we'll have your account down within a week, and they do. See, the thing is, I feel like Google... YouTube listen, YouTube listen, and I think that's a good thing, but at the moment they're kind of delayed and they're not really getting really a spam account, so I'm a little bit pro-hesitant on that. I'm like, oh, will we fix it? We will, I'm sure we will, because it affects their regi registration, <laughs> their registration and their, um, their, 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 for a reputation. Oh yeah, Marks and Spencers have sold us a mouldy chicken and my dad tore a strip off a woman today on the phone and Oh did he send you know, he went to Marks and Spencers this morning and not on the phone, yeah, he actually went there and he Yeah, said uh it's not just an inconvenience smelling it after it's been cooked for half an hour. And then, no one just mould it and been cooked for half an hour. So it's, yeah, two hours. But, but second of all, I'm only stuttering. So, second of all, I've got to send it back into you. And then third of all, it's Marks and Spencer. Yeah, Marks and Spencers have a very short sell by dates. And he was saying, so, third of all, uh, it's bloody. I think he accidentally said poor for four. <laughs> third of all, we never know when this might happen again. And we just said, yeah. We'll put a customer service thing in, and we're sorry, you know. Marks and Spencers are good with customer service, but at a time like now, you know, that sort of mouldy chicken thing. Just because I know, I know the world's struggling, and you know, Amazon are saying, oh, your deliveries might not be on time, and bloody hell, they're not. You got that one right. If you could get anything wrong in the world, Amazon. I'm being sarcastic. Google are just shouting out everyone, we're just looking like idiots now. Um Yeah. And this person was like, come around the corner. Um and yeah. You know, I know times are difficult right now, but it's not an excuse to lay off and shortening down, you know, two hours a week. Two two hours a week, you know, we're only open from nine to two o'clock. You know, if I run a business I say Get down on your ass and continue working. Obviously, self isolation and you know, probably two meters apart from you know, other colleagues. But Lloyd's my, in my area, bloody disgraceful. From, from till nine till two in the afternoon. It's no excuse. It's no excuse. Just, no, it's just big excuse. Big excuse for not an excuse. You know, they're just plastering up. No, it's not good enough. Because I like things being done, despite what bloody times we're living in. I do. I'm like that. Get off my granddad. We're living in our times. Still make hay while the sun shines. You know what I mean? Please. Give me a break. No, give me a break. You've had a big enough break. Give me a break. I'm turning up at three in the afternoon and find your bloody... You bloody shutters are right down to me bloody ankles, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good poem. <laughs> Going to Lloyd's, three in the afternoon, getting there to find the shutters right down to me ankles. Oh, I'm wearing flip flops today. <laughs> wearing flip flops today. <laughs> I was wearing flip flops today. Now I'm putting on shoes because my feet get colder. And you said my feet get old in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> me feet get old in the evening. No, me feet get quite cold in the evening. They're like blocks of ice. <laughs> oh god, is it funny? It gets it, get, it gets rough and then it gets hilarious. That's a it's like a constant wave of oh he said something he's not meant to. Who's watching? We get I know uh, in this recently after talking about this virus, I feel like people are really gonna take what I'm saying really, you know, like oh he shouldn't have said that. Oh, but I know who my audience is. Know who my audience is? I'm not stupid. I know all you laugh at it and think it's funny, but I suppose I do feel a bit guilty inside for some of the stuff I say. But I don't want to. If if something comes to my mind and I feel like it's too much, I will not make myself say it. Um, but if I feel like oh go on, just just lash out. Just say what you need to say. We're in hard times and. I've had grief. 
I'll bloody say it, right? I'm not, I'm not hesitating saying, oh, yeah, things are slow at a moment. You know, because it's true. You know, things are slow. You know, any of you, do, yeah, things are quite slow at the moment, guys. But for a reason, for a good cause, to stop the virus spreading. Yeah, I agree with that, but there's other way around. There's other ways around it, there really are. There's a way around anything in life, there really is. There's no need to slow down production and get robots to be doing stuff when people can work from home. You know, come on, please, give us, give me a break. I am working hard at home, doing photography, five in the morning, working my arse off. Some stuff will be out soon on the photography website. Sam Lockett stuff. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't see that I'm sword. Ah! You're on PC. No point getting angry, but on PC. Thank Donald Trump. <laughs> They're on PC. <gasps> the headphones on. Have you seen those people with headphones on and they're in a car? And more like Air AirPods. You do wonder, don't you? Hmm, very odd people. There's a guy in my area and he's a little odd. He drives around the. Uh, it's like a bluish BMW and it's got white seats in it. And he's always got the windows down. And I don't know what the F he thinks he's doing, but he obviously thinks he's playing Forza Motorsport or Forza Horizon or something. He's a right wanker. He's a weirdo. He, like, uh, goes dead slow up against the the corner shops. And all of a sudden he revs really loud. And then he's... Uh, I was just going for a little chat with my dad in the, in the car. What? Well, the guy was driving. <laughs> he was driving. And I was sitting there talking to him. <laughs> and then we saw his blue BMW again. I said, oh, there he is again. My dad's like, oh. <laughs> and then he went near my nans. And then he was there. Oh, sorry, he was at my nans first. And then he was at my nans. <laughs> Delivering the Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> <laughs> Some bloody drug dealer in the BMW, as they all are. And yeah, yeah, saw him down the motorway. So he's obviously going for an evening little ride in his car, in his really fast sports car with his white seats in. Well, he's got his windows down, but he couldn't afford a saloon. Oh God, bloody train! <laughs> the heck? You know, you you do, you do think you know I like planes, and you know planes can be cool without making you know. Really loud RPM rev noises, and there's this kid in my course called Oliver Sheldon, and he he loves cars, he, and I get it. I understand if you like cars, but he always talks about them. I go to school, I don't start blabbing on about why the A330's got a higher, you know, wing landing gear than the front landing gear, and why it's slightly tilted with the axis of eh, ten degrees. You know, I mean, it's not revving that all up. <laughs> in your face. Like, did you know the A380 extenders the A340? He goes to get an A330 300. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, the Manchester Airport, yeah, the Flyby Dash 8s are now parked up against the 737 Maxes. You know, someone would look at me and think, what are you talking about? If I start talking about BMW RPMs, I might get conversation out of someone, because that's... Yeah, you know what I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah there's this Google... And he's alright, Oliver Sheldon. He, he, he talk and... We talk! A bunny with a diamond sword! <laughs> Won it in a raffle ticket, did you, buddy? Bunny? Bunny? <laughs> yeah, he's on PC, he's a bloody drug dealer. <laughs> he's a drug dealer, and he? Yeah, PC Minecraft players. Yeah, on, on drugs. He's probably a YouTuber, isn't he? So he's got like 50 more subscribers than me. Uh, so he's at 1,000. How? How? That, you know, that's bloody aim assist. That bloody aim assist. I know. How can someone like. Appin kid take down a bloody name like the Terreri. You know what I mean? Something as classy as that. No, 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 classy. The Terreri. It's a bloody scumbag name. A bit like Alvin, who was in the BMW. I think that's what his name is. Registration was Alvin 12. So he's 12! <laughs> he might be 21. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> a bit stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Gets his numbers all mixed up. Sorry about that, guys. God knows how I did. Oh, God knows how I didn't die. I'm in, <laughs> in bloody spectating mode. <laughs> yeah, the bloody. Mum wants to see the cat because it's important. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just had to spray something in his mouth. So I've been sat here, bloody. Yeah. <laughs> Revving my BMW. <laughs> Alvin 12s. <laughs> Alvin 12s. Yeah, he's 21. He's got the registration. <laughs> Alvin, what's Alvin backwards? Ne Alvin, Ne Alvin twenty one. Neil, Neil Phillips, everyone. <laughs> Neil.
<laughs> right, bugger that, I'm not getting a sword. Do you reckon you can get those cows again that you can hear sound? <laughs> oh god, yeah. No, he thinks he's in like Forza Motorsport 5. This guy goes up near, you know, near the co-op. He sits there. And we were behind him. My dad was like, what's he doing? What's he doing? He had his... He didn't even have had hazard lights on. He said hazard. Hazard. Yeah, hazard. I said hazard. Hazard lights on. He didn't have his hazard, hazard lights on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were playing the same map over and over again. Just realised. Um, and, um... Yeah, I don't know. He, he just... Parked in front. He wasn't even parked. He was just in the road. And he started revving. And my dad was like, he jumped out of his skin. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Not bald out of his skin. Jumped out of his skin. <laughs> and, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, what are you doing? He probably thinks he's in Forza. You <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Oliver Sheldon, he's alright. Conversation 12 minutes ago. Thanks to the bloody cat. Yeah, sorry. Well, one minute, my mum just said, oh, I suppose I'm in his bloody mouth. <laughs> in his bloody mouth! <laughs> I had enough of him. <laughs> yeah, the cat's, uh... Oh, and still under my bed. Quite frankly, yeah, I'll probably have to move him or something, because I don't want to wake up in the morning to find two dead bodies. Two dead bodies! <laughs> oh. You're not going to see, it's not, yeah, it's not an open coffin bloody crematorial, thank God. Last time I saw him, wasn't in the best of states he was yeah the last time i saw my granddad was four weeks ago on wednesday because he went into hospital that thursday night around you know 25th 26th of march died on the 31st and you know what i mean I, I, yeah, he had a thermometer in his mouth and he was shaking he looked frail i never saw me never seen my granddad look like that before so you know, it's kind of like that last picture of him in my mind. I kind of want to push that back and rather have the pictures of him with his mouth open. Not with a moment in his mouth, but him laughing off something I've said. You know what I mean? How can something like that gain airborne and not smack all those trees? Oh, here we go again. We've got a helicopter now. I mean, the builds are all right, but a bit, you know, oversized. I mean... Real, you know, a DC three. I know I'm not large. DC three, right? There's holes in the bloody runway. One of the engines are bloody carked it. You know what I mean? Can I get on the DC? I can. Let's have a look at this bloody state of a plane. Look at it goes up. Look at this plane. Have you seen it? <laughs> oh, it's him again. The bunny man. Oh God, get out! <laughs> He's venomous, he is. He's not going to get another one. He's not killing me again. He's not killing the Terrari. This guy's horrible. Shouldn't he be in the other round killing someone else? Or is that very famous skin? The bunny skin? God knows. Oh, here we go. The third interruption into the video. Oh, no. I thought someone was going to open the door. God, guys. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not having a cat in my room ever again in the video. People think you can just come in and walk in. I mean, yeah, if a cat needs its bloody spray in its mouth for its steroids. Yeah, I suppose that's uh, inevitable. That looks like a big face. <laughs> a big face. <laughs> yeah, if a DC-10, let's say, one-to-one. One-to-one scale. That's like a one-to... It's oversized, so one-to-minus six too big for a DC-10 in Minecraft. I do my planes to size. Hope he's got a Fitbit on. Counting his steps. <laughs> what I want to know is how... Oh, here we go. T-junction, boys. <laughs> T-junction. <laughs> he's going to come around the other way, this idiot. I don't like Minecraft on games. It's not fair when... I bet you're playing against robots. I bet that's a thing these days. 2014, you were playing against... You know, the same kind of people. Right now, you're playing against bloody robots, aren't you? That do hacks and. Herobrine was killed by Herobrine. How can you be get killed by Herobrine? <laughs> God. <laughs> I was killed by Herobrine, but you screenshot it and sent a notch. <laughs> See what he says about that? 
Well, um, is a possibility um, that you could get killed, but yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian was there. Uh, I just witnessed him. <laughs> Jonah's witness. <laughs> Jonah's witness. <laughs> yeah, I was plugging my sister's Xbox in today. I said I was plugging me six. <laughs> me sixters. <laughs> what, me sixters? <laughs> plugging me sisters in today. <laughs> I've lost all of them. They're all robotic now. That bunny comes again. It's getting bunnied. <laughs> it's getting bullied. <laughs> bullied a bunny. I'm a vampire. I look like Calvin Hours. <laughs> Calvin Hours! <laughs> Not counting hours. Calvin Hours. I was meant to say Calvin Hours. Calvin Hours taking too much pepper. <laughs> Calvin Hours. I'm counting the hours. Calvin Hours. God, I'm changing his skin. <laughs> oh, Calvin Hours. <laughs> This is where I met the bunny man with his diamond sword. God knows how he got it, probably cheat coded it. I'm in the hay. <laughs> You're not gonna fight me in the hay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Come on, bunny guy, let's <laughs> have a fight today. <laughs> Calvin Hours is there. He's changing me, changing me bloody game attack to Calvin Hours and he'll move away like <laughs> more like coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> I think that's a good way to get up a place to flee from you. <laughs> Calvin Hours, coronavirus. <laughs> I try not to say it, I try to say the virus name under my breath. If I can, if I can't help it, I'll just say COVID-19, because YouTube will probably think it's a... It's a stand-up video for why I'm supporting it, and then someone will click on it. Oh, he's... Oh, a YouTuber, gaming YouTuber, talking about corona, and then say, The NHS, I can't, I can't mass produce their own stuff. <laughs> and then... I'll get shot down and then. Oh my, I come up with the aircraft. Yeah, a bit big for a DC 3. Don't like the rudder. Please to spoil it. Spoilers, buddy. Horizontal stabilizers in the wrong place. Come on, guys. I mean, you're map makers, aren't you? You don't bugger around. Come on, PC player. And those are the PC players. Their eyes are really close together. They're like Sonic characters. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. They are, they take, they pick all like skins, probably called Brandon, don't they? They're on PC. They're on PC. Did I get a shot then? They're on PC. Look at you. You're bloody sitting there in your room and you, you sit, play that all day, but you've got diabetes. You bloody got, you know, where's my Coke cans? They're under your belly, but you can't see them because your belly's further away than your door. You big fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? I'm gonna report him. Look at them, they're both the two twins. Well, see, their eyes dead close. What's his name? Imagine having a skin like that. How buff do you look like? Silver Wolf. What's his name? Hamster. How could he get away with it? Hamster Lick 5. More like. Ham hamster Dick 5. <laughs> Small Willy. Yeah. Like car. Car people who like cars. Big car, small penis. Doesn't make your penis grow any bigger having a big car. Yeah, but having an airplane, modest. Let's <laughs> have an A380 on the lawn. You know what I mean? On the lawn. <laughs> yeah, I wait for my Gemini Jets. 1 to 400. I haven't got anything about cars, guys. It's just that. He said Oliver White. Who the fuck's Oliver White? <laughs> Oliver Sheldon. Lex's cars, and yeah, dropped his. he dropped his paper, I picked it up, and he said, Tarsam, lad. And I dropped it, and I was like, oh, sorry. And he said, no, no, Tarsam, lad. And he, he's a nice guy, but he likes his cars. And I was kind of like, oh. I mean, a lot of people like cars, unfortunately, compared to airplanes. I mean, you see one take off, and they're all like, well, you know, like, visitor park, visitor park, <laughs> label it visitor park. Manchester Airport visitor park, and they're all like, you know, and so teenagers go there and they're like, I've never seen the plane take off before. And I'm like, well, let me introduce myself. <laughs> let me introduce myself. <laughs> My name's a today expert and I've been doing this for all. Modest. <laughs> Modest. <laughs> Where's the diamond sword? He looks like the Aer Lingus. He's got an Aer Lingus skin. 
of these wankers use bloody commands. They do. Can we just kill someone? Just there he is! Hamster lick five! Let's batter him! Look, he's got gear already! What happened then? Yeah, what are you gonna do now? I've got you, I'm following you up, man. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit! They cheat. They've got. Yeah, you're playing against robots, I reckon. Yeah. How do we just do that that fast? Do you reckon this should be... I should send this in the patch notes. Come, Hamster Lick 5 is a... Is a robot. Maybe he might be a robot. I reckon you're playing against robots. Look, he's obviously autistic going between them. Yeah, and he doesn't have his diamond sword equipped. Yeah, but he's got diabetes. He won't be here in... Won't be here in 12 years. Hamster Lick 5. You've had so many years he's got left. Yeah, licking his hamster. Careful, mate, you might get AIDS. You dickhead. Terrari. You know what I mean? Oh shit, I'm still alive! <laughs> Did I not get killed? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Leave game, yeah, bloody hell, can I? <sighs> it's just a shame, isn't it? I, you are, you're playing against robots, I might as well accept it. What is he pregnant? <laughs> That's a bit of a naughty skin. <laughs> Banana, yeah. Little scrote hanging out your head. When you call him a knobhead. <gasps> God. <laughs> you don't let me make Luke. <laughs> Brandon Olden when he's seen a ghost. <laughs> when he's seen a ghost. <laughs> Matthew Wilcox on World Book Day. Looking like an absolute tosser. But World Book Day was on Friday. He dressed up for it on Monday. Mr. Chamberlain didn't find it funny. He was actually... <gasps> Mr. Chamberlain was hard. And he, felt, he felt sympathy for Matthew. Mr. Chamberlain said, Sam, stop laughing, it's not funny, it's... Matthew can't help it. The amount of times I've told Matthew to stick his tongue back in. And Mr. Chamberlain found that funny. I know people are funny, aren't they? Something's funny and something obvious that would happen to Matthew. It's dead serious, dead serious, it's not funny. Yeah. Aren't humans funny? Maybe I just find everything funny. I'm not in a bloody hunger game. Just don't be looking around for bloody chests and hamster like five will be. Oh, an egg! How do I get to it? What will I get? I bet I'll get something saying, no, oh, you can only open this egg if, you, if you've got hive plus or something. Twelve eggs left. Alright, fucking hell. You think it's for like the weakest attention? Spam this, wouldn't you? Look at eleven l uh, eggs left in highlighted blue. I think they're really stupid. I know Minecraft for younger kids, I get that. A hamster like five. I bet he's that small. <laughs> and that colour, and that race, and that gender. No, he's probably more like this, isn't he? Oh, look. oh I see. Is Minecraft really t so we've got to have a little Muslim in it now? It, so, oh, the BBC are bad enough with the bloody advertisements having a Muslim in it. Oh, politically correct. Now Minecraft's got to have a little blackie in it. <laughs> in the skid advertisements. To be politically correct, look at you, you've got him there. You've got little, I oh don't know, Mohammed, uh, little Mustafa, my Bobby. And he's got blue eyes! What, what are we? Even the bloody. 521, you know, in England. If only people in England. I mean, you're a bit f there, will you? Know? Am I allowed to use the word half cast for this? Look at this! Look at that! Blue eyes! Do you, know, do you have one of those horrible London accents? Yeah, I was talking about that. I'll go get her. I'll go get a KFC bucket um, and uh, uh, the onion rings. Um, do you want it, sweetheart? And, you know, and they're black and they're from London. You know, and they're big old horrible flats that burn down. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got my impression of London. I've flown over it and that's all I want to see of it. From that distance, please. I'd rather be further up seeing London than further away I live from it, if you know what I mean. I've got a Spanish woman now. <laughs> I really take into account the genders, don't I? I don't know. I mean, what's this thing? Look at it, it looks like a prawn cocktail. It's got one eye and it's a pirate. Oh, not him again. The robot man. What the hell is that? Do you think they're cool? 
Can't this just be normal? Everybody like, ah, console player. What are you looking at, you... You bloody... Twisted. You have bloody... Yeah. Wait, what's that? Are you frog there? Look at that. I've got a bloody effing... Axe now. Oh, don't do... You haven't got to do what, do what the hamster lick five does. <laughs> and bloody... Yeah, bug cheats the game. I bet he has. I bet he's got like a command thing and his little hot bar and like, ah, oh, here we go. Diamond sword for give that player slash backward slash give that player diamond sword. You know what I mean? And he gets it and he wins. It's probably like a uh, hacks it so like uh causes damage plus ten so he kills people in one hit or something. Hmm. I mean, Minecraft's a good game, but I reckon you're not playing against real people anymore, which is sad, isn't it? What do I do then? What am I doing? What can I do? He's blinking! Look at you, bloody tick face, you bloody... It's not fair, is it? You're playing against robots, God. So when I don't get my own way... I mean, alright, 2014, it was nowhere near like this, alright? It was nowhere near like this. Wasn't as competitive looking for cows there. Go on, smash your face off an effing cow, you. Diamond helmet, see that? It's not fair. I'm here on a version that is still in beta. And it's allowed me to use this. I mean, it's not fair. You're not, you're not going to win. I mean, I did win one game a couple of weeks ago. Well, like a week ago. Um, <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. Um, but I reckon at this time, <laughs> at this time, 55 minutes to midnight, sorry, 55 minutes past 11, 5 minutes to midnight, you get robots, for like the railway, <laughs> you get robots <laughs> coming up and down. I only said that because I saw the railway. Take the chicken in case you get peckish. <laughs> get the chicken in case you see a cat. And if my cat's alright, if he hasn't. Yeah, go to bed and be like, <sighs> cat, <laughs> cat, <coughs> hello, cat. <laughs> I've got the virus. Sorry for what to tell you. <laughs> Eumonia kicking in and all that. And that's from a granddad died of pneumonia. <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> Tickly cough. Hmm. No, I do. I just had a tickly cough then. About laughing over pneumonia. Maybe that's my granddad kicking in, saying, hey, stop it. It's not all funny, you know, as much as oh, I laughed off at all. I mean, is it right? I mean, is it right to make content like this in these hard times? Probably not, but... Um, I, I feel... Like I'm, I can. Mm. A blooming well. <laughs> There you are, diamond sword, because you've got a diamond... He's firing. Diamond... Diamond sword, diamond helmet. Ugh. I did have a, had a little tickly cough then. Little scratch. Little scratch! 2.3 gigabytes, right, I'm gonna kill this bloody... Arsehole. Right, it's gonna go from bad to worse. Oh, he's got a diamond sword! <laughs> there you have got a diamond sword. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if he win it, but... <laughs> Raffle ticket, you know what I mean? Bet they even won bloody Sam Cherry's bloody Gemini Jet prize yesterday as well. Got your KLM in 747. Oh, you really like that, are you? You're really that hungry for. They're not nice, are they? Hey, yeah, let me take full damage and just sort you out, kid. Goodbye. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> it was a lovely game. You're on PC. They've got diabetes. They'll die in five years. I keep healthy. Go to the airport when I'm allowed out of the house. I'm not, you know, like an animal at a moment. In quarantine. I feel like the bloody cat. You know what I mean? And probably live twice the life they'll see in front of their little shitty little monster screens. <laughs> and I've got three of them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They on their dad's broken laptop, aren't they? With the smoking joints. Right, see you all later. I'm just ripped into the Minecraft community. I've applauded the NHS. 
Um, I'm taking the piss. I'm being sarky. I shouldn't be like that. See you later. I've got a funeral tomorrow, so. Poor, oh, no, I'll be like. <laughs> oh, why was I so confident yesterday? No. Tomorrow's going to be an emotional day. Um, see you later. I hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Um, photography stuff, maybe. See you later. Bye.